was was there's a store. Jorge, ¿qué tal? Buenas noches, preparándome para Ayonte. Ya, ya, acá está todo, está todo el pescado vendido. Ya lo vendiste todo. Todo, todo. No, no, no puedo comer ni en el baño. Eso me dijo mi señora. Punto. Sí, ahora fui, salimos a comer porque no puedo tocar acá, no puedo tocar allá, ya me tiene podrido. Así es. Bueno, la verdad que trabajan mucho para Ayonte. ¿eh? Sí. Me mandaron unos chistes acerca del tema. Sí. De, de eso. Donde la gente. Espere, 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 que voy a cortar. No te preocupes. Bob Amadalev, 6A. You get regards, Ernie, from Ronnie Nagel on a plane on his way to Miami to visit his family. We're, oh, he just texted. He just me. left. He left today. Uh -huh. So very nice. You know what? Good. Go ahead. Well, Harold, Harold also, I think, is in Miami. Yeah, he left early in the morning. He left this morning. Omerle, mi karamina le, mi karamina le ale bal korche. We're dealing with the halacha that if if a woman has been declared a sota and the husband dies before he takes her to the base of mikdash, and there's a brother. The brother is not allowed to do yibul because the Gemara said she already ruined one family. What do we want to ruin another family? So we don't. The Gemara is saying we don't force anyone to marry her, like a regular person. Because we asked the question, fine. If she, since she was an adulteress, if she marries somebody else, she's also going to ruin a family. So that's what the Gemara answered, but we don't force anybody to get married to her. They choose out of their own free will. They better, you know, buyer beware. The, the intended husband needs to investigate her carefully, like anyone, like any person who gets married to a woman. Ikidi Amri, other people learn this approach differently. Amrav Yosef, Hakosuf Kro Acher, because it says, the Posuk says, uh, 
of Alchav Aisal Ish Acher. Why is she called the, uh, why is it called Acher? She ain't Ben Zuga Rishon. This was not the Bashert, her first Bashert. She, because Shezeho Tzi Rishon Mebeso. Husband number one got rid of this evil woman. And this new husband is taking this Russia into her, into his family. And we're saying that we should force the brother to do Yibu? Absolutely not. However, based on that, El Nisus la Acher. Let's say she marries not a, she doesn't get married, there's no Yibum, she gets married to a third party. Umes, below Bonnie. And she would, did not commit adultery against that husband. And he dies without children. Lotis Yabin, the cause of Kro Acher. She lived with a shame tov with this new husband. <coughs> Now, Rava gives a different shot. Uh, but Ernie, wouldn't this be the case when she says twice a widow, she shouldn't marry a third time? No, but the, the first husband didn't die. The first husband divorced her, was forced to divorce. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm adulthood. sorry. I, I would, no, no, it's okay. Why is it like, like a, a divorced woman that if she if she's a divorced woman, marries a Kohen, and then uh, he, he, the second husband dies. The the, the, the stigma of, of co never goes off of her as far as being a, a prohibited to a coin. She's always a, a, a grusha. Oh, Cohen would not be allowed to marry her. Right. She would never can marry a third uh, a coin. She can never marry the her third husband can never be a coin because the stigma the stays with her. The, the so second husband, stays. the second husband couldn't be a coin either. That's right. No, but I'm, I know, but, but that's right. But let's see, she's she the, she marries the first uh, uh, is a coin divorce her. The second husband, let's say, is a is a can't marry a coin. But and then if she marries the second husband and he dies, she still has the stigma of the first husband as being a grusha. She can't even marry the third husband. That's Same thing here. So she should. So maybe she shouldn't be able to marry a third husband. Because she has a, a stigma on her as being a, a zona. A non, but a non Cohen can marry a Grusha and a zona if you're not a Cohen. There's no, there's no prohibition to a regular Yisrael to marry a Grusha or to marry a zona. I'm, I'm talking <laughs> about the, the, the stigma should stay on her, though. Just like there's no saying. stigma. There's no stigma. Uh, okay. You're talking about she was an adulteress? Right. Okay, she's an adulteress against husband number one. So husband number one is forced to give her a divorce. Now she can marry another person. If she's not an adulteress with the other person, I see. She there's, 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 no, there's no problem. That's in fact why Abaya asked, there certainly could be you, but with the husband number two. Uh, uh. Now Rava is going to learn a kavachoyim. Now, she was married to her husband. She's allowed to live with him. But yeah, not sorry. By, but but not where are we holding on what that way? Vav Amad Aleph, near the top. Near the top. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Mines, Walter. Yeah. If now we say she's forbidden to live with her husband because she's a doctor. Now, normally... A brother-in-law, she can't live with her brother-in-law, with her husband's brother. It's Usr. But Usr Lala Kalshakane. So she's prohibited to the index husband. She's certainly going to be prohibited to the Yove. So Amalay Abaya, Alamayata Coin Godel, Shekidish Almana. Now a coin godel cannot marry an Almana. He gave her Kiddushin. The Kiddushin is Chal. So it's not like it's not Chal, because it's not an Erva. It's a, it's a Chai of Lav. And we hold, not like Rabbi Akiva, that there is Kiddushin by Chai Lav. So the Kiddushin takes hold, and then he dies. 
And he has a brother. Now, regular Kohanim can marry an Almoni. So, Lotus Yabim. What? And you're going to tell me there's not going to be Ibum? Im Nasr Bamutur law. The coin Godel is is prohibited with this Almon. So we should say the same Kabachoimer. Basr la Kalshakain to the brother in law who is. Be iser, certainly there should be no permission. The Gemara says, Nesra Asir Vakaimo. It's not Nesra. The Almana is prohibited not because she was an adulteress, because the Torah says you can't marry an Almana. <coughs> Ella. Asr lahu, just that she's, he's prohibited to live with her because she's mamana. <laughs> the Gemara tries another approach. Elaish's koyen shenensa. A Cohen's wife was raped. Now Cohen's wife, if he's raped, he can't live with her anymore. He has to give her a divorce. But he, he died before he died. It's prohibited for her to live, for him to live with this woman. But before he gives her a divorce, mate. He has an ach from the same father, but a different mother. And the mother was a grusha. The mother of this brother was a grusha. So he's not a koyin anymore. It's a chalal. Are you going to tell me lo tisyabein? Because in Nasr v'amutr l'ba'asr l'kolshikein? So onus bi Yisrael mishrashori. A chalal can marry a woman who's been raped. You gotta be the high meal, like Yisro. So there's no Yisro, because we have to view the brother as a Yisro, because he's a halal, he's not a koyin. Mishnah. Elu asuros mela echol betrumas. The following women, normally their wives can eat truma, but if suspicion falls on them, or we'll see what the cases are. He, they can't, they can, they stop eating truma. How emeris tmeya anilacha. The woman says, she confesses to her husband, I slept with another man. <coughs> or a case, the bow edim shehitmeya. Edim come to say we saw our relations with another man. Or a woman whose husband warned her not to sequester in a room with a person, and she went ahead and sequestered. The din now is that the husband has to take her up to the base of Vedas to drink the soto waters. But she says, Amy choice. She refuses to drink. So, in, and the fourth case, is by Lena Rotzelash Grace. Let's say the husband does not want to make her drink the soto water. Or in a case where on the way to the base of Migdash, by La Bala Badera, in a hotel on the way up to base of Migdash, the husband has relations with her. In that case, the mime is not boy occur. It won't work. It has no power. So in all these cases of the Mishnah, she stops eating truma if the husband was a koyin. The following Allah was said by Rav Sheshes and he opened our eyes to understand certain hidden things in our mission. You have a woman that the husband warned her not to go into her room. And she went into her room. And now the husband's supposed to take her up to the base of Indus to drink the soda water. But 
There are witnesses in China. Hello? There are witnesses in China, not here, that witnessed her having relations with a certain man. May, Mario, you've got to put it on. Mario. Mario, you have to put it on, on, on mute. So the din is, ain't a mind, ain't a mind, boy, So even though she sinned, the, she won't get damaged by the Soto waters. Because these witnesses could take her to regular Besdin and declare that she's an adulteress. She could be put to death. We don't need proof through a nace of the Soto waters. My timer, why doesn't the water work? The Amar Kravinister of the Nikmar, the aid ain't bought. Where no witness knows what happened in that room. The Leka de Yadaba, La Fuke Haida, Ha Ike de Yadaba. There are Adim in China. They're not here and we don't know about them. But if there are witnesses in the world that she had had relations in that room, the Soto waters will not work on her. The Anilan Ainan Mavasisan. Now, how did our Mishnah reveal anything? Diktoni. Vishibolo Adim Shihitme. One of the examples the Mishnah brought, where she stops eating truma, is Adim came that, that saw actual intercourse. The Asu Adim Amos. When did these Adim show up? If they showed up before she drank, so she's an adulteress, Zoinahi. And of course, she would not be even allowed to drink the water. And she would be usher to eat trum as a zona. So we're talking about the Basar de Shasai. The Adim came after she drank the water. Now, it only works if what usually happens when a woman is guilty and she drinks the soda waters, her stomach explodes. So if we follow the halacha of Rav Amram, that a sota where there are eight in present in the world, the Mayim will not work on her. So we understand. That's why she's still around and hasn't died. So now if her stomach had exploded, and then these Adim show up after she drank to claim that she had committed adultery. It's clear that she or let's say the my or my the the mind, if you're gonna say the mind will work, and it, the reason why she didn't explode is because really she didn't commit she she didn't have intercourse in that room, then retroactively, you're going to say that these Adim were liars by claiming that they had seen her have intercourse? Would we say this is the same as the case of Bab Matsi of Rabbi Eliezer and the, uh, the Tanor, that, this, that these waters have a din of a baskol? Meaning, why should we believe these Adim relative to the waters? So, so hang on. So, Kenny, very good. Meaning maybe we would say... The waters have a status of a basco, and you in some chimala basco, you gotta do a lot, you know. No, no, it's not basco. What was more, Rav Shesh just made a statement that if there are eight in the world who knew the waters she, don't work. So, no, so now, so the problem is like that. If that's the case, no. If we say the waters don't work, so that I understand why she, why she's still alive. But if you say the waters work. Meaning if she's still alive, that implies that she was innocent. So now what, based on that, we're going to say that the Aiden that showed up to say she was guilty are lying Aiden. So that can't be. It becomes more complicated. Really the water is- uh, Ernie, Ernie, can I ask something? Yeah. How is she going to be asked to drink the waters before 
Adims arise. Because she drinks, the drinking water happens when there are Adim that heard the husband warn her not to sequester herself in a room. Okay. And, and another two Adim show up to say- This is him from overseas. Hang on, hang on. Two other Adim come and say, we saw her go into a room alone with the person. But they didn't know, they didn't know what happened in that room. You with me so far? Yes. So, so it's a suffix what happened in that room. So based on that, the husband's supposed to take her up to drink the soda waters. Okay. Now, if Adim show up after she drank and say, you know, we were there and there was a window in the back and we actually saw them have intercourse in that room. Mishnah so described a case that if there are Adim somewhere in the world that we didn't know about, when she drank the waters, the waters don't will not work on her. So I understand if she's still alive and then the Adim show up and she, and and it and and it didn't work because yeah. her stomach didn't explode. You know why it didn't explode? Because there's a rule, Hamayim ain't boykinosa. The, the waters don't work. If there are Adim somewhere in the world, even in China, that we didn't know about, that knew exactly what happened in that room. But if she comes out. If we say Mayim is Boydeker and she's still alive, so what, are we going to use that to, to claim that the witnesses are lying? So Armelei Rav Yosef, really everybody holds that the waters will always work. Now, why is she alive? She has merits. She gives stucca. She davens. She keeps a kosher home. And therefore, that's what's keeping her alive right now, her merits. And the Maika Mifliki, what's the Machlokas? Be misnavna de Rebbe. If merits keep one of these women alive, what exactly is going to be the case? It's not. Rabbi Oimer. Zuchus toilebamayim. He agrees that merits will allow a woman to stay alive. But, ene yoledes. Normally, if a woman is innocent, she becomes pregnant and has a male child. But according to Rabbi, if she was really guilty, but she was not killed immediately because she had merits, Eina Yoledis, we notice that she doesn't become pregnant. She doesn't thrive. She gets weaker and weaker. And then she dies. So, Rav Sheshes Sovar, Bein le Rebbe, Bein Rabbonon, Havi Misnavna, according to everybody, she will go downhill. Based on that, we're going to see very clearly that she was guilty because she's going downhill. And, and if the Mayim worked on her, even though there was Adim in China, we would know about it. So we'd have to say that if there are Adim in the world, the Mayim doesn't work because we would recognize whether it worked or didn't. But Masif Rav Shimi Barashi, Rav Shimon Oimer, ain't close to toil my mamari. There is no concept of the waters not working if she's guilty. If she's guilty, her stomach's going to explode, even if she has merits. Because Vimata Oimer is close to toil my mamari. Madcha atas amayim if they call anoshim ashoisos. Number one. If the fear of drinking this water where we want people to confess before they drink is going to go away because they're going to think that they have merits and they'll drink. And really, we don't want them to drink. We try to encourage them not to drink. Vice versa, the women who knew that they were innocent. 
and they drank. Well, if there are women who are guilty who are also not going to die right away, even completely innocent women who drink and, and are alive, people are going to think that they're guilty. The only reason that they're alive is because they have merits. Right? Hey, no, I mean, other people say, So Rav Shimon rejects that whole notion. And Vim Isa, if it's correct, that if there, if there are Adim in China, the waters won't work. That Yeshla Adim Diyasiyam Nami, Ata Moti Shemar Allah Tarsh Shasu. Innocent women who drank and don't die, people will say, Hey, no, I'm in Tameo Sayu. Really, they were guilty. And there, we don't know Adim showed up because they were in China. Elish Yeshla Adim Diyasiyam. So, the Rab Shimon Ka'amrit, you're asking me a kasha based on Rab Shimon, Rab Shimon, but it's not allowed to Of course, since he claims that merits will not protect her, the fact that there are Adim in the world also won't protect her. Mosifra. Eilu Shimon Choseyen Nisrafos. Part of the Sota process is that the woman brings a Korban Mincha of barley which has to be offered. So let's say they were miskadesh and mincha. But she says, how Omeris Tmeya Ani. At some point she says, I had committed adultery. Or, so in that case, we burn the mincha. We don't offer it because she's not a sota anymore. Or, Shabolo Adim Shit Meya. Or witnesses come to say that they saw her have intercourse. And the Gemara wants to know the Asu Adim Amos. When did these intercourse witnesses show up? If it was before they sanctified the flower in the Kli for the Mincha, well then Tepuk Lachulan. If they said, okay, game over. She's not a sota. She's an, a guilty woman. Then the flower would not be hegdish. Must be lebosar de kodesh. They already sanctified the flower in the kli shards, and then they showed up. Now, i amit bishlam mind boy can I saw? And if, even though there were adim, the water's going to work. Alma bas mekadeshu makravi. It has a sanct it has sanctity. And the chikodesh mi kar shapir kodesh. And therefore it was and it was a good hegdish. And now when the Adim come, Shumachim in Chasan is refes. Because now we know that there's no right to make her drink the water because we have Adim that she was an adulteress. But Iamrit ain't a mind boy But if you say the process is not going to function if there are Adim in the world. Then the sanctification of the flower in the kli didn't really work, was done by mistake. And why should we burn it? Like all other cases of toads. You know what? This isn't talking about the original Sota case where the husband warned her not to go into a room and she went into a room. We just don't know what happened in that room. And now Adim comes from China because they know what happened in that room. No, this is an, a second case. Kigon Shazin Sabazara. The husband is bringing her up. And now while they're up in the base of Migdash, she fools around with another guy. The Chikadosh Mi Kara Shapir Kadosh. And the original case that the husband came for is a good Agdash. So, Maski from Ramashar Shay. Rav Mashar says, how could she fool around in the base of Migdash? We're going to learn this, that when they get to the base of Migdash, pairs of Kohanim are chaperoning her to avoid this whole issue. So the Gemara says, she had adultery with one of these Kohanim. And Rav Ashiyam Rekagon Shenitzrachal in the Kaveh, she had to go to the bathroom. So she needed privacy. 
The Atu Pirchekuna Bekeepa Talilu. I mean, they don't lock her up in a dungeon. So it's not 100% protection. So she committed Znus in the bathroom. So Rav Papa Amr La Oilam Kedamrina Mi Karo. Rav Papa says, you don't have to come on to such a case. We can talk about the, the original index case and these native in China had seen what was going on in the husband's case. Utika Amrit, Tepok Lachulin, that really, that which we, really, Ibeikar Adin, it could go Lachulin. We don't have to burn it. But they make a Gzeira to burn it. Midrabona. Because if we allow someone to take it out Lachulin, people watching what's going on are going to think Shema Yonru Motzimek Lishos Lachol. That you could put something in a cliche is to be to sanctify it, and then immediately take it out and use it without pidyon, and we don't want people to make a mistake regarding that halacha, so we demand that it be burnt. But maker idea it doesn't have to be burnt. Masif Rav Mary, Yavasota, who is mincha, and nit meis mincha, so the mincha became tummy. If the flower became Tommy Achlo Kitcha Bikli, Harehikola Menachis, it's like all of the Menachis Vitipode. You can redeem it. If you put it in a Kli, so it got Hegdish, Mishakotcha Bikli, and then it became Tommy, Harehikola Menachis, Vitisari. It's like any other Mincha that becomes Tommy after burning. Now, once you have the flower in a kli and it's sanctified, the process of a mincha is the coin puts his hand in it. He takes some of the flower, cleans it off, and put, that's called the kmitza. And he puts the flower that he was koimitz in another kli to sanctify it. Kodesh koimitz lo hispik lakrivo. And he didn't get a chance to throw the flower on the Mizbeach. Ad Shemes who? The husband of the Sota woman dies. Oh, Ad Shemes he, or she dies. So the Mincha is not good anymore because the Balabatim are dead. Now, Koreva Koimitz, the Kmitza has been thrown on the fire. However, now normally what happens after you throw the kmitza, the kohanim eat the remaining mincha. And the kohanim didn't eat the shiram. That's not ma'ake, the eating of the shiram. Once the koimitz was nizrak, they have kapar. This mincha is brought because we don't know what happened in the room. And therefore, there's atonement and we move on. Now, if Adim showed up before they offered the mincha, and they testify that she had committed adultery. Min chosan nisrefes. We burn the mincha. Now, those witnesses who came and looked through the window and saw this couple having intercourse, they have to say that we saw it Monday afternoon at one o'clock. Because Basin will ask them, when and where and what time? Why is that? Because if two other Adim show up and say, you know, at Monday, one o'clock, they we were with these two people in Disneyland. How could they? So that's called Adim Zomamin. So Nim Tsuaydeh Zomamin Min Chasa Chulin. So the Adim go away. 
they're knocked out of the box. The Adim that testified that she committed adultery. And this Mincha now goes Lechulim. Now, according to Rav Sheshes, this Mincha was already in the Scottish Bikli. And there's no Gzeira. Let's burn it because we're worried about people thinking that something that was miskadesh can go out without pidyon. So this is a kach on Rav Sheshes. And for the Gemara, Edim Zoymim Kamrit. Ask me a shayla about Edim Zoymim. Edim Zoymim Kala Isluhu. Has a, everybody hears about the case of Edim Zoymim. So nobody's going to question why this mincha went lechulen. In a regular guy, they're not going to know. But Edim Zoymim has a call Everyone's going to know. Tanya Kavots and Rav Sheshes. There's a Baraisa to support what Rav Sheshes said that the Mayim doesn't check a woman if there are Edim in China, but Velav Mitame, but not for his reasonings. The Pasuk says, Imlonit Mo'aha Isha. Vitahorihi, if the woman had not been violated and is tor, the Nixa of an Zara, she's going to have a child. That's the possible. So it says, Tahora, the lo shiyeshlo aidim of Dinasayam. Tahora means just, there are no witnesses in the world that saw what's going on. And therefore, if there are witnesses, the Mayim will not check her and she won't have the child. Then it says, Utahora, the law, Shatosalos Chus. The Mayim will not check her immediately if she has merits. He, because the Posuk says, Aisha Utahora, he, Imlon Nitma Aisha Utahora, he, the he comes to exclude These are women who weave at night by the light of the moon and they gossip. If they know that she committed adultery, then the mind will not work on her. Because we don't, the, the only time we need the water to work is if we have a suffix. And in those cases, we don't have a suffix. Everyone knows about it. Now, Rav Shimon who we learned tonight holds that merits will not save the woman. This extra where it says this extra vav, he doesn't darshan. So he doesn't learn that merits can keep a woman alive. I but from that pasuk we learn that that if there are Adam in the world, the mime won't work. Maybe Rav Shimon has to agree to that. The more answers lo The fact that there are Adam in China to know what's going on is a dover lo and something that Rav Shimon doesn't rely on because it's something that's very clear. Do we do we uh, believe a woman when she says, uh, I, I was resigned there? First of all, eight, eight of them made some out for Russia, number one. And number two, uh, we, maybe she does it because she wants to get rid of her husband. And that's the only way she can make her husband divorce her by saying, I was unfaithful. You believe her if she, the Mishnah said that if she's married to a Kohen, he stops being cool. I know, but they said Stami Yisrael. If she said, uh, if she said, I, I was unfaithful. So do we believe her enough that we force her husband to give her yet? Right run? now, the only thing we've learned about a woman admitting that she was Tamea is that she stops eating Kuma if she's a nation Yisrael. If she's a Yisrael who's married to a Kohen. We, we haven't, we haven't learned any other din. But they'll come up, though. I mean, it's it's it's, it's an issue because but when it comes she, up, when it comes up, we're going to learn it. Well, it probably will because she 
she, could she force her husband that way to give her in a that divorce? Case, in that case, if she's being brought to go to woman, to the base of Medish, and she says, no, she admits, so she doesn't drink, and she loses her... Gets no, but if she, because she volunteers on her own without any kind of... Uh, any kind of uh, an, an oed or nothing. We're going to ask, well, we, we're, yeah. we're, we're now going to learn the mission. Okay. okay. How this works. Meaning, we try to get the woman to admit, we don't want her to drink. So if she admits, then she gets divorced and loses his children. Yeah, but if he, he, he brought her because it was rude. there was a uh, reason why he brought her, because there were, there were suspicion. But if the woman there was suspicion, stopped, but, he, but he doesn't know what happened in that room. Okay, but, but some of the woman says I was unfaithful, and then uh, so uh, would say he does. He was a coin, so obviously Truby doesn't. He does he have to give her a divorce? Then? Yes, even though a native Muslim in a in a Sota case where he where he asks her to live. Somebody Don't needs to mute, to mute themselves. Somebody needs to mute themselves. I will, but I'm I'm talking. That's why it's on my my family's back. Okay. okay, never mind. We'll go later. Okay. In a Sota situation where there was Kinui and Sasira. So at that moment, the husband is ushered to live with her unless she drinks the Sota waters. Now, if on the way up, she admits, no, no, I, I, I had intercourse. She doesn't drink and she goes out without Aksuba. In that case, the case where they're married and there's no Sota and she just admits, we're not dealing with that right now. That's a different case. Okay. Right, Alan? I understand. Thank you. Thank you. So, so that 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 we're not holding by. Okay. We'll see what happens in that case. Okay. That's a the, different case. We're going to the next plan. Uh, I would like to, if you guys still have the koyak. This was a difficult plot that we just learned. A very 